How's it going today, Bremerton? You can almost taste the decadent chocolates that have been made here by Amy for the last 12 years now. I'm going to tell you her story and more on this special Valentine's Day edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. He didn't really notice, but his mama's touched a pace. She hovers as he buttons up his coat, the ring goes up the face. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theater. Story number one, we begin today inside Amy's Decadent Chocolates, a business started 12 years ago by Amy Jablonski, who's been making chocolates since she was 14 years old. The next two days will be quite hectic inside Amy's as she attempts to satisfy that sweet tooth in all of us Bremertonians. My mother, Rosemary Jablonski, her and her sisters, we would all go downstairs and make chocolates. It would take us about a month and a half to make the chocolates just for Christmas. So in terms of overall product, how many things do you think you will sell in these two days of Valentine's Day rush? A lot. <laughs> we'll make about 16 flats of dipped strawberries and we will make 600 caramel apples that'll go out the door in the next two days. It just goes crazy. Story number two today, at long last a company is purchasing the old Kmart building in the hopes of breathing new life into it. Gig Harbor based Weiss Construction is buying the old 85,000 square foot Kmart space for $3.3 million and will put $2 million more into remodeling it. The shopping complex at 4200 Wheaton Way has started filling up these past few years. With the additions of Planet Fitness a couple of years ago, a remodel of Sherry's and Pacific Fabrics, and the Wilco Farm Store slated to open later this year as well. Look for demolition and construction to begin in March. Story number three today, have you noticed the art wraps that are going in on utility boxes around town? Already, there was one at 6th and Washington and at 11th and High, but the city is adding several more this year, thanks to several organizations around the community that are ponying up $2,500 and then letting artists take over from there. We can save the city money by um, decreasing the cost for maintenance. And as a benefit to that, we get to cover the wraps in beautiful artwork. Um, we're, we can print anything on the vinyl wraps, and so we do call for artists for different locations, and they have a lifespan of about seven to ten years, so they should last for a long time. Story number four today. If you're a history buff like me, you've probably wondered why Wyckoff Avenue is missing its K. Wyckoff Avenue is of course named for Ambrose Wyckoff, who founded the Puget Sound Navy Yard in 1891. And we found out that in 1891, the Charleston Platte map actually erroneously spells Mr. Wyckoff's name even then while he was alive. W-Y-C-O-F-F. -F. They left out the K. So what gives? Will it ever be accurately spelled right? A woman named Helen Ross in 1990 approached the city council to in fact change the name. However, several area residents and the city council said no to the effort, saying that it would be too hard to change things like phone books and mailing addresses. So even now, 126 years after the founding of the shipyard and the Charleston Platte map, it will remain Wyckoff without a K. Finally, story number five today. The little hamlet of Gilberton is about to go without its community club. The community club has been a happening place for many years, a buzz with scout meetings, with potlucks, and other celebratory events. But in the last few years, maintenance costs have gone up and not too many people are using the facility. Its caretakers have asked for a new community group to come in and take the center over. The building's in need of a lot of repairs, and the use of the building has been low, which brings in low funds, and we're not having the support from the community that we expected, that we've experienced in the past, and most of us are ready to move on with our lives and pass the torch to a new group. That's our show for this week. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day, and we'll see you again next week. Music for this week's Bremerton Beat Blast was provided by local legend Jeff Tassin. Tassin's local artist showcases can be seen and heard every Tuesday night at Brother Don's on Kitsap Way. He didn't know his daddy he got killed in a car They say he's got a lot of his traits but he's not sure what they are His daddy's just a memory for everybody else 